All right, talking to uh, Jordan from Carmeria. Jordan, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for having me on. Excellent. Good to have you on. Whereabouts are you guys based? So, yeah, so we're, we're currently based out of Sydney, Australia. Um, we're all sort of, you know, all around the place, really. I think at the moment I'm actually out in Bathurst, like Midwest, New South Wales. Um, but, yeah, the majority of the band are sort of based all around Sydney. Right. How did it uh, come about that you joined the band? You haven't been in the band since the beginning. How did you come on board? And did you know about the band beforehand? Yeah, so so the band originally started around 2012, um, and it was originally like a sort of female-fronted uh, prog rock band. Um, and they, I, I'd sort of, you know, been aware of them for a little bit. Um, and they released one EP, played a couple of shows, and then they sort of disbanded, I think, on the grounds of uh, creative differences. I think Jerry and Lisa, uh, the guitarist and original keyboard player, wanted to go sort of more in a, like a more symphonic metal uh, gothic direction and I think the other band members were looking to go somewhere else so they, they split around 2013 um, and I had actually I'd known sort of Jerry um, I think we might have met at a night out at some sort of rock club or something but we had each other on Facebook and he actually uh, put out an instrumental demo uh, just asking if any singers were interested in, in auditioning for uh, the new kind of version of Come Area and i you know, it sort of was aware of the band and I was absolutely in love with the symphonic metal genre and the idea of performing in a symphonic metal band. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I, I you know, I, I downloaded the track and I think I recorded like a, a really shitty vocal demo uh, through my laptop um, laptop microphone, I think using GarageBand or something and, and threw all these vocal layers in and sort of made it all, all big and bombastic and a bit ridiculous. And I sent it through just not, not sort of knowing, you know, whether it had... Uh, you know, give me a chance or a shot at getting into this band. And, um, yeah, the response was uh, from Jerry was, fuck, man, you can't, you know, send that through and not want to audition. So <laughs> um, we spoke a bit more just about, uh, you know, the, the sort of direction that they were looking to go in and, and a bit of my background and uh, my history and, and where I wanted to go. And, um, yeah, I think, you know, after a couple of months of discussions, uh, they, you know, made the decision and sort of swore me in as, a, as a, I think, like the end of, maybe 2014. Um, and yeah, since then, it's it's kind of, you know, uh, taken a whole new, uh, you know, we've sort of taken a whole new approach to everything. There's been a lot of lineup changes um, through the years, but we're, yeah, we're currently uh, at, a, at a really good place. And I think, you know, the lineup we've got at the moment is definitely, uh, you know, the right people for the job. And it's um, it's been, yeah, it's been an absolute journey with... <laughs> This uh, this album's been six years in the making, so to be, finally be putting it out is, is quite surreal. Mm. Um, on the bio that I've got in front of me, there's no bass player listed. What's going on there? Yeah, so we uh, parted ways with our bass player about a month ago. Um, <clears throat> he was looking to move to Melbourne, and we'd sort of, you know, we we tried the interstate member thing before a couple of times, and um, you know, it it hadn't really worked for us. So we we sort of made the decision to part ways um, as of yeah a, a couple of months ago. But he played he played his last show with us, I think, um, on April 10, which was uh, Scream It Out Festival, which is a festival that our guitarist put on as a sort of like a community outreach program, hmm. uh, raising awareness for mental health and and giving an outlet to alternative youth. So it was an absolutely amazing show. Um, but yeah, that was sort of his last official day in the band. Um, and since then we've, you know, held a couple of auditions, uh, for a new player. And I think, yeah, we've, we've <laughs> found the right person for the job. So that's exciting, but we haven't made any announcements yet. So we'll, uh, hold off on that for a bit, but, um, yeah. I think it's safe to say that the low end of Calm Area is in very good hands. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. So tell us about this album. Um, how did... All the COVID carry on affect you seems to be the question I'm asking everybody these days because everybody's got a COVID story. Um, what's Carmeria's COVID story? How did you get around it? It was yeah, look, it, it was quite challenging, and I think like a lot of other bands, we sort of had to adapt um, as further development started to to come about. But yeah, it it, it really fucked us up <laughs> last year. Obviously, we had all these plans um, to record release an album and tour it and all that kind of stuff. Um, we originally started recording like vocals for the album. So all the instruments were done and we originally started recording vocals for the album in December, 2019. So um, 
you know, that <laughs> started doing that. And then, of course, the bushfires hit. And so we, you know, uh, we recorded the album with Lord Tim. And so I was, and he's based in Wollongong, and I was sort of driving down every couple of days, lay down more vocal tracks and all that kind of stuff. And um, due to the bushfires, the roads ended up closing between mm. Sydney and Wollongong. We couldn't actually, I couldn't actually get there to finish it. So we had to postpone it. Um, you know, I think a couple of weeks or a couple of months. And then, of course, COVID hit and it was like, fuck, like, we are going to get this done. Uh, having <laughs> this album be six years in the making, you know, you kind of have these obstacles start popping up uh, right when you're sort of on the home stretch and it's kind of like, oh, does this album not want to be made or what's going on? But um, we ended up getting it finished. But we were, we were actually meant to tour uh, last year in April uh, with Valhalla, the yeah. um, sort of epic Viking metal from... Uh, from Brisbane and we were meant to do like an East coast run um, with them. And I think, you know, literally the week before we were about to uh, leave for it. Um, that was when all these new restrictions came in. They locked yeah. everything down, shut the borders. And that's kind of when it all started going out of control. So, you know, um, that was probably the biggest hit to us. So we managed to get the album finished in the end. And, um, yeah. you know, obviously that's coming out this week. So really excited for that. But uh, yeah, like, as I sort of said, that COVID thing just kept developing and, and, you know, we had more plans that we'd have to push back. And the most recent one, I think, uh, was with Valhalla again in April, again, where, um, <laughs> you know, we had a, a, a couple of shows on their uh, intimate and acoustic tour. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, it was, uh, I think, you know, th that week it was meant to happen or the week before, um, there was another couple of cases, I think, uh, up in Queensland. And, and so they shut the borders again. So... Unfortunately, Valhalla had to postpone their tour again, and that was like the second time it had sort of happened to us in in uh, in two years. So, just avoid booking a tour with Valhalla. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that's 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 the thing. It seems like um seems like a bit of a yeah a bit of black magic going on behind the scenes or something. But um, but that's actually now been rescheduled for for uh, I think late June, early July. So really looking forward to that because we absolutely love those guys and. Uh, always have a really good time and we catch up. So, yeah, I can't wait to play with them. Excellent. Um, now, I've seen the two lead the blind video. What else is happening on that front? Yeah, so um, that was that was a lot of fun, that video. That um, We actually reached out to a family friend of uh, Mishka's, our keyboard player, and um, he's, he's this award-winning director, phenomenal guy, absolutely amazing to work with. Uh, and we, we, you know, put out these, Two pre the two previous singles, Morningstar and Celestia. Uh, and they were quite big and grand in scale. And the guy we worked with uh, for them, Alan Brady, amazing to work with and uh, a lot of fun to work with too. But we sort of wanted to go in a bit more of a different direction uh, with the To Lead the Blind video clip. And, um, yeah, that was seen in the in the way of uh, working with director Roderick Gadev. And um, he was he was fantastic to work with. I, I sort of have a bit of a process with the music videos where, where I'll come up with a brief give them the lyrics, give them, you know, all the info and, and, and sort of what we're thinking. And then they just basically take the reins from there. Uh, and so that was actually shot like in a TV studio and it had the, like a full production team. It was nuts. It was the biggest thing we'd done hmm. um, for like, you know, lighting rigs, set building, uh, multiple locations, all that kind of stuff. So that was a lot of fun, a lot of work. Um, but, you know, we were really happy with um yeah, how that came out and, and, and what we got out of it. I think, you know, that was um, sort of the, the last big single, I guess you could say, in terms of, you know, having a grandiose uh, music video to go with it. Um, and I think, you know, we pulled it off and, uh, yeah, it, it definitely looks great and we were really happy with it. Yeah, excellent. So the album uh, is coming out on the 14th of May. How are people going to be able to get hold of this? I'm assuming it'll be streaming everywhere, but uh, some people still want the physical product. How are they going to go about that? Yeah, so it's going to be available via all uh, major streaming and retail services online, but uh, we're also, we currently run a shop through uh, Merch Wizard, and um, the website for that is shop.carmaria.com. And we've got everything from physical hard copies of the disc to, you know, full merch bundles with, uh, you know, hoodies and shirts and bags and all that kind of stuff. So there's multiple different, uh, like a multitude of different bundles uh, that you can uh, look at purchasing. And, yeah, that includes physical, like anything from physical copies of the albums to hoodies and shirts and stuff like that. Okay, so any other videos or singles released before the albums come out? 
Um, so, yeah, um, we released uh, the last single off the album about a week, two weeks ago. So April 30th it dropped, and um, that was part of Relinquished, and it came with a lyric video uh, that was created by Wayne Joyner, and he's a phenomenal, um, phenomenal artist he, uh, in, in terms of, the, you know, animation and motion graphics and all that kind of stuff. He's worked for a lot of, uh, you know, sort of big bands. I think he's done, like, Sabaton and Arion and all these... Um, you know, sort of major European bands uh, that we really look up to. So the the uh, opportunity to work with him was fantastic, and we had a lot of fun with it. And he was just, you know, such a breeze to work with. So that came out, um, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, and that's the last offering from the album before it drops this Friday. We've got an album launch show on the 29th of May at the Factory Floor in Sydney. Uh, tickets are available via uh, the link on our page, and we're performing that with uh, good friends Salem and Wicked Sisters. So that should be a really fun night. A um, lot of lot of uh, gothic energy going around for that uh, for that gig. So that'll be good fun. Okay, so that's uh, album launch uh, show coming up very soon. Any plans for a tour? What have you got uh, lined up, or what are you hoping to line up? Yeah, so we've got. Um, We've got a couple of shows with Valhalla for their intimate and acoustic show. We're playing the Sydney gig and I believe the Newcastle one as well. Uh, the dates are escaping me at the moment, but uh, all the info is available via our page. And then we'll look at doing probably, I think, an East Coast run around late September, early October. Um, and all that will be, you know, we'll, we'll announce it, big announcement with posters and all, you know, all, the, all the exciting graphics and all that stuff. So uh, keep an eye out for that. All right. Jordan Carmeri, a brand new album coming out May 14. Looking forward to that. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me today. No worries. Thanks so much for having me on.